Sports. more steep in nostalgia than this old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, the home of the Ohio State Buckeyes in the scarlet and gray have this place rocking already. Today we have a top 25 matchup on hand with two of college football's premier teams preparing to slug it out. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he's going to try to return this one. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. So Ohio State's offense is on the field for the first time today. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red zone. He has a chance to leave an impact in this game. Well, it's so nice to have such a big body that when he's covered, he's open, right? Like, it doesn't matter because he's got great hands and that big frame he can really utilize. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. To throw, it's Howard. Dances away to buy time. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd. Don't let him get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. And the Buckeyes will call on their punt team. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Mason. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't... And that pass picked off! And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty, and it's a turnover. Not the start this kid was looking for. The very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. Pulls and fires complete. 
and eventually taken down. But what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. On the move, it's Henderson. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play, and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Buckeyes send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Offense making its way onto the field to start the drive. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a win. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. Now after the short completion, it's second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Well, the upside is you could get a first down. The downside is you could blow the game going for it inside your own 30. Ball in the air, intercepted! And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. -making. Takes a handoff. It's Henderson. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Here we go. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Smith. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. From the gun. Wants to pass. Going for it all. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Now, a lot of times you see those receivers as soon as they get by the DBs. You know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him. And the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. You could see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown First on the throw. goal. Right. And the extra point was good. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. So, guys, we'll get another look at this offense. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind you. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think we can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. Hand off from the gun. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Comes out throwing on first down, and it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Baxter. And the ball slipped out. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. The Buckeyes roll that offense. 
defense back out there. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they've got to stop the bleeding right now. The Buckeyes headed quickly to the line. The passing game continues to be prolific, and as much as Ohio State has been built on toughness, They've been built recently. And the defense makes a play. And they get the quarterback down at the 26. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. Off play action. Throwing right. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior. And he is lucky to get it back. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. The sweet feet buy a little time. So now on comes the field goal unit. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. And he missed it. No good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. The missed 51-yard field goal now gives this offense good starting field position at its own 34. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down for the 22. He's looking to throw. He fires one deep over the middle. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Got him downfield. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer ones. Here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. And it's such an advantage for this defense to have an outside linebacker like that that can rush the passer because they can set the edge. They can get off the ball, and they're just way too fast for tight ends or for offensive tackles to get out and block them. Despite failing earlier on fourth down, they will try again here. And they get to him and sack the quarterback. Drive on down. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. First down here for the offense. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. Off the play fake. Pressure coming. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Dropping back, it's Howard. Looking to buy time. He'll pull it down. At the 35, he's open. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. And the Buckeyes want to pick up the tempo. 
it, it's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's caught. It's Smith. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how do you respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. And Scoring toss from 27 yards out. The returner's going to try to see what he can get. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. They'll get this drive going from the 17. He's going to pass. Catch open down the middle. Makes the tackle at the 32, but they were backed up inside their 20, and they pick up 15. Wow, they've been waiting for that play, right? They haven't been throwing it a lot. They've been real sluggish. They've got no points on the scoreboard. And now they come up with an explosive play in the... And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Baxter. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense. And here's a fumble way up. And looks as if the offense was able to get back on top of the football. And yes, it could have been worse, but as it is, it's a safety. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. Free kick, Free out, kick of out of bounds. Kicking team. Kicking team. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Got it. The offense set for a first down play. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. They're going to throw it to start the drive. He's got an open man. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. He wants to throw. He'll pull it down and run. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Running back goes in motion. Getting some heat. Grabbed over the middle. It's Judkins. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Here's first and goal, and a touchdown here might put this thing out of reach by halftime. He caught it! And to the end zone! Touchdown, Ohio State! A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time, but when you can use their big body frames, threaten them to First run the foul. football, um, be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary, make that big play. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. So they got the touchdown, now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone. And Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He's moving out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. 
And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He'll off one deep down the left side. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On third down, he drops the throw. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. He hurls one deep down the left side. Takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. How about the bomb by the offense? The Hail Mary, they go deep. The defense knows it's coming. But where are they? Where, where is the defense? You've got to stay as deep as the deepest and make sure this doesn't happen. The Hail Mary to success. And the extra point is good. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great one going down in Columbus today. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, we send it back to the guys in the shoe. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Slips through the line. Guided out of bounds at the 32 after a good return. So we'll see the offense on the field to start this drive. Going up top on first down. Forced out of the pocket. We're going to try to get it himself. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. On second down, wants to throw. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. Defense. defense. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. You simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Boy, as a defense, you hate to just hand out first downs on a penalty. He'll throw it. Got a man. It's Morris. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. And the catch along the sideline will come up a little short of the first down. When you run this out route, you know you're starting to get close to the sidelines. I know i got to start slowing down and find a way to drag or get one toe, a pinky toe, a big toe, whatever I can inbounds. Nice effort, nice catch, way to keep something in bounds. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Trying to get to it. 
Had nowhere to go with that one. Had to just throw it away. A wise decision to keep the field goal in play. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Makes a catch past the sticks. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. They're going to throw it again. They're trying to get to it. He just threw it away. The last thing you want to do is try to force something on first down in the red zone. Now second and goal and right in the teeth of this noise. Makes the grab. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line and they've got it right on the doorstep. What a phenomenal individual effort to getting the catch, getting the foot down in bounds. He's now setting up his offense here for a potential touchdown on this very next play. And he is snowed under, sacked at the seven. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. Oh, the, the fake and he wants to throw. <clears throat> And that pass, not surprisingly, is incomplete. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. First down for this offense. Looking for space, it's Henderson. He'll slither through and pick up three and get it out to the 10-yard line. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. To the air, it's Howard, feeling some heat. And down he goes back at the three. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Well guys, Ohio State has the lead here. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Buckeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Well, they finally stop him, but he found some running room on that return and really helps out his offense to start this drive. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. Looking to go up top on first down. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. Keeps it himself and gets the first. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back. But man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. It's snagged in the end zone. Touchdown. The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are more than chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. Looking to throw. He's got it in the end zone. The two-point conversion is good, and we have a one-possession game late. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close that drive, going to the air for the final few inches and the score. 
He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nuts. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. No, I'm up by more than a field goal. Obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. Looking to throw, it's Howard. Pocket starts to collapse. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. That is now the seventh sack on defense. This offense cannot protect their QB. It doesn't matter if the defense is blitzing or if they're just winning one-on-one. -on -one. Seven sacks? That's just ridiculous. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. He'll try to do it himself. You know, recently, it is a great play, and I think they were in nickel, so they brought an extra guy on the field that has some speed, take a linebacker that's a little bit slower off the field, and you can see it pay dividends on that third down. The Buckeyes line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He gets a block. Turns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. They'll start this drive with a pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Baxter. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. He's going to take off. Got room at the 35. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Well, they've tried to get this quarterback going, running the ball in, in a variety of ways. And they haven't really been able to kind of break him out just yet until that one right there. Nice individual effort on the scramble. It took a little longer than they would have liked. But maybe that's the play that's really going to sort of spark this offense and really maybe get this guy going more on the ground. This offense trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. Let's it fly. And it's caught for the touchdown. Yeah, I tell you what, great job by this offense. Great execution. You drive down the field, you get the score. Now what's your two-point play? You practiced it all week. What's your go-to in this moment, late in the fourth quarter, when you need the two-point conversion? Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. He's looking to pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Baxter. Into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and we are all tied up here in the fourth. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. From inside his own 15, looking for room. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do. So tempo is going to be important. You've got to go fast. you just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, try to maximize this time and get it a position to win. Catch in the middle. It's Henderson. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got it up for the first down. I'm out on the field, and everybody want to make sure they're organized as we come down the gut of the game. Trying to find his man on first down. A strike downfield. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. And he has a solid gain before the defense follows him up. So they'll send out the field goal unit. The 
short field goal for the game. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work, and that seemed to be the case here. They, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Uh, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make those extra plays, Jesse? That might be the difference in the next game that I play. Yeah, David, they just need a little bit more. They need a little bit better effort next week. They're going to need better preparation this week in practice. There's no doubt this team has a lot of talent, but we just need a little bit more to ensure that this doesn't happen next week. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.